we're going to talk about primary text frames. Uh, this is a text frame that goes on your master page and they're very very useful actually. Uh, sometimes they're a little confusing but let's take a look and clear it up. Alright so I'm going to make a new document so I'll just do control N or command N and uh, let's make it a few different columns like five columns and let's give it a primary text frame right off the bat and let's see what we get let's click OK here we go uh, here's my document page so you see there is a text frame already here uh, but what happens is when we do it this way what InDesign did, it made a single text box and it applied columns to the text box. Now, often you don't want to do that because the main reason you may, sp may split your uh, layout into so many different columns is that you can u utilize these columns in different ways. You could have text going across three columns and then you could save space in the other two columns. So uh, let's do this again. I'm going to close this and we'll just start fresh. Uh, let's see what happens when we don't do it right off the bat because we can do it anytime we want. So I'll do the same thing. Control N, uh, facing pages, number of columns, we'll do five. Uh, I'm not going to check primary text frame this time. Let's say OK. And here's what we get. So I didn't do the text frame uh, yet. But, you know, what happens is when your document is set up like this and we import some text, I'll just do Control D to import. Here's the file I want to import. I like to see my options first. So you probably know if I hold down the Shift key, I get that solid squiggly line. And when I click once here, all the text is going to flow in, but it's going to follow the column guides that are already there. So this is not, not very useful. So this would be a lot of work to uh, reconfigure this. So let's let's do a couple of Control Z's here. Get rid of everything, and now this time let's go to the master page, and let's create. Uh, primary text frame. So I'll get my type tool. So let's say on the left-handed page I want my type to go like so to do these first uh, three columns and then I want a text box that's linked on the other side so I'll click the out port over here. I'll click and drag over here. This will have the opposite three columns and then these columns here we can reserve for other stuff in our document you know like uh, images and captions and things like that um, now there's one more step we have to do right now this is just a plain old text frame so uh, since this is a master page in just a regular text frame you would put in you know any kind of text that you want to repeat uh, throughout your document. Now with the primary text frame you don't put any text in the text box. And we have to do one more thing. We have to convert it to a primary text frame. So come to this little icon over here. It says click to make this story the master's primary text flow. So I'll click on that and you see the icon changes here. And just to double check if I click on this text box I have the same little icon over there. So now let's go to our document page. And let's see our text box. It's a little hard to see. Let me turn the guides off. So here it is. You can see the outline here. Here's my text box. Now one thing that's odd is you remember before when I put the primary text frame in the original dialog box, I was able to select this. Right now I can't, but there is something funny. Let's let's see what happens here when I bring some text in. Let me turn my guides back on. Control D to place. I'll click my uh, 
text file here. I'll just click open. My options should stay the same. And see my cursor when I get over my text box. It turns into the different cursor. You see it looks like a little parentheses instead of a right angles. And now when I click, this is going to flow. I'm not holding down any keyboard. This will flow and also add pages. And the funny thing now is this original text box on the first page, I can now uh, change it if I like. And also the reason the text flowed into all these pages without me having to hold down any key is in our preferences. So I'm just going to do a control K to take a look at our preferences. And if you go to type on the bottom here, uh, this I believe is the default. It's using smart text reflow. Right now it's limited to primary text frame. So I'll just say OK. So that's why it was easily added new pages for us. And another cool thing about this is if we make a new master page, let's make a new master page and do something silly. So I'll come over here, new master. Uh, we're not going to base it on anything. And let's make some uh, funny looking uh, text frames. So actually I'll draw an ellipse like so. And maybe I'll draw um, a polygon on the other page. Let's see what it comes. Oh, okay, we've got a triangle. That's good. Uh, now these are not text frames yet. Take your type tool. Turns into the I-beam in a circle there. Now when I click, that became a text frame. Click the out port. Come to our other shape over here. See the icon change, the cursor change. Click over here. And that has also become a text frame. Now don't forget the next step is we have to make this a primary text frame. So we click on this little icon here. There's the little tool tip telling you what to do. Click once and now we're good. So now if we took this master page and applied it to a page, it's going to use these text frames. So watch this. I'll drag this over here to apply it. The text automatically flows into these new uh, primary text frames. Uh, one other thing before I go. Uh, we saw you had that original problem as the text frame on the first page was not selectable. Uh, that can also be remedied by uh, doing that control shift and clicking um, the procedure. Let's do it again real quick. Control N. Uh, I'm not going to put the facing pages in. Okay. So if I make my primary text frames after the fact, you know, just make, uh, you know, two boring ones. Let's link them. And let's make this a primary text frame. Yeah, let's line this up with something. Now when I go to my document page, you know, like normal, here's my thing. If you need to select a master item, you can just do Control, Shift, and click. And now it's selectable. And you see there's that primary text frame icon, and you can move this around. Uh, wherever you need to. Or, you know, like in the previous example, once you put some text in it, it becomes uh, selectable. Okay, so I hope, we, um, I hope you get to see how good this feature is because splitting your, your document into these grids uh, can really give you a nice flexible layout. So, that's it for today, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.